In a former life, my first guest today was lead vocalist with Grant Lee Buffalo, a band who achieved success on both sides of the Atlantic and supported acts like R.E.M., The Smashing Pumpkins and Pearl Jam. Fast forward to the present day, however, and uh, he's branched out on his own with a new album set for release next month. Welcome to BBC London, Grant Lee Phillips. Hey there, how you doing? I like that in a former life. <laughs> it has a mystical ring to it. I like it. Like some folks recollect. Hey, are we on the air? Holy moly. We certainly are. All sorts of knobs over there. Are you going to give us a song? I could do that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd do it with like a big intro and all, like 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 the old days. But this is called Spring Release. Okay, well, this is the intro. Dunna, ladies and gentlemen, I present to the whole of London, Mr. Grant Lee Phillips. <laughs> Out on the west side in the blinding night Oh, why were they swing their arms Out by the roadside like a baby dog Oh, why, damn, this floor is thumping Spring release now My little girlfriend, she's a hanging light I feel the blood rush pumping, holding Late July, fire in the dance hall, honey, where am I? Stuck to the wall out on the rim of space Up by the bandstand, don't I know my place? Always, this floor is thumping, spring release stand My little girlfriend, she's a hanging light the blood rush pumping, pulling. My little girlfriend, she's a hanging light. And how eyes don't show your weakness on the town tonight. Your wrist up like you can't decide. This floor is the spring release man. My little girlfriend, she's a hanging light. I feel the blood rush pumping, holding. My little girlfriend, she's a hanging light. Thank you so much. Live music in the studio today, courtesy of Mr. Grant Lee Phillips, with a track from his forthcoming album that was spring released. Welcome, welcome. Thanks. Thank you. So we got loads of questions and uh, such a limited amount of time. So I firstly wanted to ask you, I was reading that uh, whilst music's always been in your blood, your first love was actually drawing. Oh, yeah, that's true. Is that something you still do? Um, yeah, I do now and then. Um, what kind of stuff? Well, you know, in 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 the early days when I was but a child, it would often be the uh, the classic hobo drawings with the uh, with the cigar and maybe a a stovepipe hat with a chicken, kind of you know peeking out. But these days, I've uh, I've classic taken drawings. to uh, <laughs> yeah something a little more eloquent and a little more uh, adult like you know. Uh, but now and then the classic hobo uh, drawing or uh, reappears. Rendering. Does it? It does. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm, I, uh, I do. I do uh, derive a lot of enjoyment out of that, you know? What do you do with your art? What do I do with it? Do you give it to friends, or is it just for you? You know, sometimes it, it, it turns up in odd places. Uh, there was an album called Copperopolis that, that I put out with Grantley Buffalo um, a, a few years back, and, and uh, the illustration on that, on that album was uh, basically uh, something that I had sort of concocted. One with, of yours, with, yeah. multi-talented all-rounder that you are. Yeah, it's nice when you're, you know, when you're a songwriter or you're, or whatever you do. If you have this this other thing going on where you can kind of leave songwriting alone, and you know, and 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 in some ways it it offers you a new perspective, you know, a healthy little art vacation away from uh, that thing that keeps you awake all night and 
pesters you in the dark. But still within the creative field. Yeah, exactly. Now, tell me about Harry Houdini, who you were particularly keen on when you were growing up. Yeah, when I was, uh, again, when I was but a lad, I think I must have been attracted to the idea of, of one who could, who could walk through walls and, and, and wiggle out of anything, you know. Maybe if I had a whole other life, like you say, you know, to, uh, to uh, in, in another life, I could, I, could, I could be that type of performer. But maybe like... <laughs> To the inverse, like I could wiggle in into things, you know. Right. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Like It'd folks would wonder, how did he get in there? You well, know? this is it. So you started around at the age of ten doing <laughs> conjuring, apparently. Can you still do any of the tricks? I could. I I I, w I would do one for you right here live on the radio, but uh, well, it wouldn't really it wouldn't mean as much. This you know, is it. It's when I try and do my card tricks <laughs> on the radio, it doesn't work either. <laughs> but uh, you know, but uh, yeah, no. And then I'm I'm known to uh, to dabble in the mentalism. Uh, certainly, certainly. What do you think is people like David Blaine for example David Blaine he's wild because he's like uh, he has this great sort of non non Vegas like persona right sort of like a glue head or something like that I mean that's probably not fair but he's he, he creates these wonders but he does it like he just kind of rolled out of the sack yeah you know, he's, like, a, he's a street okay, magician isn't um, he yeah right I'm just gonna like make like a whole like <laughs> fleet of elephants disappear okay they're gone they, they, I made them disappear right did you catch that it's, it's, it's kind of cool, right? I that's think he's like his whole way cool. Thing, you know, and uh, yeah, and he does creepy, creepy things. I, I, I'd like to do more creepy things. Yeah, maybe a little bit of mentalism. I mean, we just met today, right? Yeah. It's, it, and this is very new, our relationship. It's about but I'm, five I'm, minutes old. Right, but I'm getting and and it, but it feels older somehow, probably for you, probably. <laughs> but I'm getting like a certain scent signal, a, a, a mental signal, right. and it has to do with your pet at home. I'm feeling you have a pet, right? Am I right? I you, did have. You d that's that he he's talking to me from oh, beyond, is he? and 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 his name is well, I, I know it, but I want to hear you say it though. No, B really. And yeah, nice and slow. His okay. His name do you want me to say was, the, the pet's name? Yeah, nice his and, name was uh, meow. meow. This there you go. Crotly. And and it came to me like that. I was seeing I was seeing that and uh <laughs> Anyway, he, he sends his regards. Does he? Oh, thank and he's you doing so much. great. He's I doing feel really so much great. Better. Uh, yeah. Thank he's, you. He's hanging out. Thank you so much. Yeah. You should definitely stick to play your music. <laughs> You're so much better at it. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly, maybe, because you started at the age of 13, you first picked up a guitar. I, uh, yeah, it took me many years to, to before I learned how to tune one, but I, I think I picked it was someone else's guitar, and I picked it up. And, and uh, yeah. Did it feel right? It felt great, you know. Maybe, maybe it wasn't too long. I, I first began on the electric guitar, but as soon as I discovered the twelve string, it was sort of all over, you know. Because, I mean, it all began, you know. It, uh, <laughs> the twelve string is is the kind of instrument where you can just throw it at a wall, you know, and it, it'll crash and and create this beautiful noise, you know. It's nice, and that's what I'm playing here today. This but is you still need a skill to play it. You do, and I've, I've you know, gradually I've developed a skill, and I've developed calluses. I think more than skill, you need <laughs> calluses. You have to be very calloused in this industry. This is one time you're allowed to be callous, is it? <laughs> yeah. So you grew up in Stockton, California, and then eventually moved to L.A. How old were you when you packed your bags and, and upped and moved to Los Angeles? I think I had just, I was probably about 19 years old, and uh, I knew that L.A. was the place for me, you know? Because I grew up in a rural community, and there was yeah. there wasn't a lot to offer for a, a fellow like me. And I knew I was going to find myself in the world of filmmaking, music making, maybe ventriloquism, maybe maybe mentalism. I didn't know, but I knew it involved a stage and and perhaps a microphone and performing I, of some kind. Yeah, and so I basically just sort of loaded up the trunk of my Plymouth satellite with all of those things, and I and I hit the road. I got about three miles down the road, and the, the car broke down, and <laughs> and I, I had to fill up the radiator with <laughs> lagoon water, but. Uh, you made Eventually, it. I made it. You though. made it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you made it thus far, even reaching here, the sunny delights of London. Yeah, it's true. And I mean, that's, this has been some sort of feat because it was a while, uh, you know, since I played here with Grantley Buffalo. And, and as you say, since, since, since that time, I've, I've basically gone off on my own uh, with this new album, Mobilize, and played a few shows here. Yeah. Last month at the garage, and that right. was really, really fun. They made you feel time. welcome. They made me feel very welcome. It was nice, yeah. So, uh, how, why, when, and why was a final stampede for Grantley Buffalo? You know, I think I pr we probably just reached uh, a, a gradual impasse. We were a three-piece band to begin with, and uh, you know, little by little, um, I, f I, I sensed that we were all kind of going in our own, our own particular way. And, and me as a songwriter, it just made sense for me to continue uh, uh, on my own, on my lonesome. Um, I like the idea that as a songwriter, you can kind of mix it up and you can make a new record. Uh, you can you can kind of move 
in a spontaneous way mm. uh, as with a band you have this sort of this personality that's bigger than three of you and and uh, so I struggled with that. But there's something safe about being in a band as opposed to yeah. being a solo artist. Right, yeah, I mean, it's like the pack mentality, I guess, you know. Um, there, there or is the blame it on familiar. him mentality. Huh? <laughs> the blame it on him or her mentality. Yeah, right. That's why I yeah, like that's working true. with my team. That's true. But, uh, you know, I mean, I, I had a lot of a lot of pleasure from uh, from that experience and, uh, and, and certainly a lot of wounds as well. But you move on. And uh, at this point in my life, this makes a lot more sense. So mobilize yeah. is what uh, the point of your life you've come to. Yeah. It's uh, the brand new album. It's out next month. Why did you choose that as the title? <laughs> it came out of a song that I had written firstly... Uh, and the song itself was this sort of uh, this call to arms, you know, like a personal, a personal uh, call to arms, right? Mobilizing emotionally for you yourself, and as I suppose a message to anybody else who cares to listen. Then yeah, that's true. And uh, the the song is is basically the title track. You know, I wouldn't say it's the uh, the hub of the album or anything like that, but it's you can kind of visualize these great sort of marching robots. Um, and then on the cover, I can be seen in a sort of na Napoleonic getup, which <laughs> <laughs> I guess I kind of like the idea that, of that, you know, that I've, I'm, I'm at this point in my career where there's nobody left to push around but myself. And, and uh, but it's time to mobilize, nevertheless. Why Napoleon? <laughs> uh, you know, I just, I always love... kind of short. He was, yeah, yeah. Kinda short and sweet. Yes. Um, sweet. I don't know, I just love the headgear. Really? You know? he, yeah. That just does it for you. Yeah. I guess he had sort of a head trip as well, I hear. But, um... He had a thing for bees. And, did he? Uh, yeah, apparently. Really? Yeah, what replaced all the for? flirty leaves with bees. Really? That's what I'm told. Okay, I so you I guess he just had a great, a great sort of yearning to be an interior decorator <laughs> at, at the heart of it all. So you can relate to the creative side of Napoleon then? Yeah, yeah. And the love of, of, of headgear. Right. But, what about control freak aspect? Um, the reason I ask that <laughs> is that uh, aside from singing every single note on the album, you play every single instrument. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, I've always I've always turned to various instruments uh, for writing. You know, for that initial spark. But yeah, uh, and I've and I've also tracked a lot of these instruments before. But this was a chance to really get inside of the songs and deal with them in terms of their arrangement, and um, approach it from the inside. It's a more intimate relationship with with, with the recording. I felt like it was time to uh, to do so to uh, affiliate myself better. You know, with with the technical means of things as well. Well, on behalf of all your many fans, a thank you is yeah. in hand. And uh, you're, you played, as you said, recently at the garage, but uh, are you going to come back soon and, and sort of promote the album? And I am, yeah. I'm due to play here in London uh, in April. Okay, yeah. so which is uh, around the time that the album's out. That's right. So in the meantime, we'll have to make do uh, with uh, another track in the studio, yeah, if you wouldn't mind. This is a track called Humankind, right. which is again off the album. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Grant Lee Phillips. Thank you. In the point of my life is what What if it doesn't add up And the trouble is all for naught Shock to the state of the world Revelations are soon forgot If only humankind was not so heartless now Heartless now It's hard to love your fellow man However can I help myself From harboring such evil And the reason our pain is clear you never learn the lesson of bliss all the riches to squander here If only humankind was not so selfish now Selfish now It's hard to love you, fellow man However, can I help myself From harboring such evil And heartless now Heartless now Whoa, whoa And the point of the stars is to shine Shine a little light in our way When the fear in my heart leaves me blind Even now in the light of the day Comes stumbling out Ooh. If only humankind 
Mama's not so heartless now Heartless now It's hard to love you, fellow man However can I help myself From harbor and such evil In a heartless now Heartless now Whoa Thank you so much. Thank you. Live music in the studio, courtesy of Mr. Grant Lee Phillips. That's a track called Humankind from his forthcoming album, Mobilize. Look out for it. It's released next month, the 1st of April. And uh, Grant Lee will also be playing at the Shepherd's Bush Empire in April. Dates as yet to be confirmed, so keep your ear to the ground on that one. On 94.9 FM, BBC London.